climb quick? Oh, I climb very fast, yeah. Perfect. I'll let you lead so that you set the example, but I'll be right behind you. This all starts about 2 a.m. in Manhattan. I had met up with some strangers online, some fellow photographers that I had been following for a while on Instagram but had never met. And our goal was to, you know, climb this building for sunrise. The problem is it's under construction and there's no possible entry unless you climb up this elevator shaft like multiple hundreds of feet up to then transfer across this beam into the site. Now, only two people were needed to do the climb up because they could come back down and then open up a door to let the whole group in, if that makes sense. So I remember nobody really wanted to do it. I volunteered to climb up. I was like, you know what? It'll look good for footage. And I don't want to just stand around waiting. Like I'd rather just climb up, climb down to let them in and then we'll go up. So essentially I had to go up once, down, and then back up again with everyone else. So we started climbing up the shaft, you know, we expected it to be on like the fourth or fifth story, which isn't too bad to climb. You know, climbing five stories on the outside of a shaft is a bit scary, but it's not that bad. I've done worse. So we start climbing up, you know, expecting it to just lead to the door that we needed to get to. Unfortunately for us, the door on the fourth or fifth story was locked. So that forced us to climb higher to look for alternative routes. How many go first? If you want to. One more up. Dude, I fucked up my jacket. I ripped my jacket. Yeah. It's shell, get a new one. All right, where, where do we go from here? We have to change with that one, remember? That was the plan. Wow, this is not fun. I know, not at all, dude. I kind of wish I would've stayed. <laughs> Especially now I ripped my jacket. Fucking $200 jacket. What floor is this? Fuck, there's a net. Right here. We can go around it though. I just don't know how the fuck to do this, dude. How the fuck do we do this? Go in the corner. Uh huh. Is this ten? Fucking hey, boys. This is intense as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. This is the most exhausted I've ever been climbing in years. I think that's the one she's talking about, dude. That is. It has to be. This one? Yeah, cause like there's no more doors. It has to be this. And if this is locked, then we're fucked. How bad is it, the rip? Not that bad. No, it's not bad. I could, I could fix it. Um, fuck, what do we do? We ended up climbing very high. I think we got to like the 10th floor or something. And we realized that that was locked as well. So we had to keep going up. Definitely drop a fucking light, you guys. This is mental. We ended up climbing about 400 feet in total on the side of the building. Like, I'm not lying, like 400 feet, no cap on the side of the building, which was really sketchy. So we successfully pulled that off. I ended up ripping my jacket, which I was pretty bummed about, but we went back down the stairs. We let everyone else in. Now we're in the stairwell, we're in business. Now we just started heading up the stairs, you know. On our way up, it's about 135 stories. So there's quite a ways to go. I remember we um, actually take, took a nap on one of the floors just to kill some time and just to kind of, you know, wait until closer to sunrise because we wanted to get night shots but we mainly wanted sunrise shots so to our knowledge you know it was going to be a super chill mission central park tower winter 2020 this building will be well known for years and years to come this is a super tall skyscraper one of the firsts of their kind 135 stories above New York City. Something ended up happening at the end of the video that just shocked us so badly that it just was a true testament of strength. And it was a mission that I will never forget. And it was honestly a lesson that I, I'm glad that I got to learn. And I learned it the hard way. So watch until the end of the video, guys. You'll see what I'm talking about. Either way, thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers. It means a lot. This is my 3K special. And this is probably the last time you're gonna see CPT on my channel. I've already posted quite a few CPT vids. So this is the last one, the raw one, the full mission. So if you guys didn't mind dropping a like or comment, that would greatly help out the channel. Anyways, I'll be checking in here and there. Enjoy this video. Jaden's out. Oh my God. Is that safe? <laughs> I don't, this yeah. feels sketchy as hell. Oh 
my fucking god. Successful goddamn fucking mission, I would say. Oh, the Chick fil A. Damn, someone brought a Chick fil A. Up here, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> someone brought Chick fil A. Someone brought Chick fil A all the way up here. This is like more than 135. Oh, yeah. This is like 137 at this point. Over here, boys. Up here. Central Park Tower, boys. 2020. I'm bringing mine. Here we are, boys. Oh my god. What is that, like, rare crane? Is that a spire? This is a really weird edge, her roof. Oh my god. Oh my God. I've never seen a shiny glass in my life. Dude, what the fuck is this? It's unreal. <laughs> Times Square looked like a snack down there, huh? Oh my fucking God, dude. It's gonna be a beautiful sunrise here. Dude, the Central Park looks amazing. Yo, dude, this is fucking mad. Fucking god. You think this is stable to walk on? Uh, yeah, it, it has to be. It's a, it's a heavy ass piece of metal. <sighs> How's that side doing? Yep. I'm definitely gonna like I like that side, but I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna use most of my efforts on this side, I think. But I am gonna check that side out once it gets a little bit brighter. Oh, this is dodgy, but I think I can fucking fit mass. Hope you guys like this New York video. I put a lot of hard work into it. If you didn't mind sharing my channel with a friend, you know, that'd really mean a lot. Dude, this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. It is a once in a lifetime. And like, we're like the last guys that are gonna be like, do, like it's proper, like, think about what we had to do to get Whoa, in. Like, look at those fucking shots. Oh my God, dude. Weirdly enough, I've never felt more at home up here. Yeah. I'm not sure quite why that is, but. Oh my fucking God. This is slightly grim, isn't it, boys? Ugh. Ooh, this is what makes it sketch. Is that I can't exactly. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <sighs> Holy fuck, dude, this city is unreal. 
best fucking way I could have spent my time here. I had an amazing trip. I don't know why I even ever thought that I wouldn't have had a good trip. I fucked up and left my gloves. How's life from up there though? Oh my God, look at that wooden fucking plank. Jesus Christ, guys. Oh my God. This can support our weight, yeah? Gentlemen, now this is an extravagant view. Ooh, a bit grim here, boys. Yeah, here, pass it up. Be careful with it, boys, don't fucking drop it. It's loose, too, so be careful. I can. Yo, Tarlay. Hey. Yep. Here, you get some. Oh yeah, I got, I got it. Down. It's Same. so cold, dude. So sketchy up here, too. It's just so cold. The wind is so strong right now. And we're probably not visible by then, hat masses. Now, it was after we climbed down this crane that things started to get really sketchy. I specifically remember only three of us being there out of the group of five that we originally came with, and we were like, huh. Where did the other two people go? Why aren't they up here? What would cause them to go to a lower deck to take pictures when they could be on a roof taking pictures? So that was my initial suspicion. I specifically remember hearing a ton of noise too coming from the roof door area. And I was like, wait, there's no way that this is them. This has to be like construction workers or something coming to work, which we weren't anticipating. Apparently the day that we had planned on climbing it, there weren't supposed to be workers there, but to our surprise, hundreds of workers ended up flooding themselves onto the roof. They didn't know we were up top. However, it was almost impossible to escape because we were like, holy shit, how are we gonna run down 135 stories without getting caught? Now, this is when we all kind of started, I guess you could say arguing, not really arguing, but we were all trying to figure out a solution. I had suggested like, yo guys, we all can't get caught because we all came into New York from like different cities. We, not like nobody there lived in New York proper. But we were like, we can't get caught here. We all have to make our flights and stuff. We have to get home. I was like, I suggest that we just go for it. Like the quicker we go for it, the quicker we can potentially get out. The longer we wait, the more workers will come. Everyone else was like, no, 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 no. We're going to hide and wait for a good opportunity. And I was like, well, that could work. But I, the problem with hiding is that you're just going to be waiting like a sitting duck in the site for longer and longer. That is a door, you're right, it is a door. Come on, come on. Come on. Stay there. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. That's a door, it's a door. Yes. Got their bags. Let's bring their bags down. There's workers right there. It's now or never. It's now or never. Now or never. There's no one at the door. Nobody's at the door. There's a door right there. They're distracted. Come on. They're distracted. They're distracted. Come on. Grab the bags. Grab the bags. Yeah. They're all work. They're all working on something. I was like, guys, seriously, trust me. If you listen to me, we'll get out. If we hide, we're gonna get caught. That's what I said. They, of course, didn't believe me. We ended up hiding for a long time, waiting for the right opportunity. And actually, after I convinced him, the other people were like, you know what, you're right. Let's just follow that plan. So we had a plan to wait. And at the right time, we're gonna run to this door and just run down. Who's 
No, I'm not hiding in the toilet. These stuff, like lower floors. Where's your bag? Where's your bag? I had to. It was at the power plant. I want to tell my mom I got robbed. I have to leave it. What's in it? Alright, Charlie, come on. These, those boys are going, I don't know what they're doing, but. Sam. Only one person followed me, everyone else stayed, and him and I were able to kind of make it to the door and run down. However, what we weren't expecting is that there was workers waiting for us at the bottom of the site, so. About 135 stories later, we get down to the bottom, and to our surprise, there's this push door. I kind of was expecting something to be going down at the bottom of the site, but I didn't expect them to be waiting outside the door like this, so. Check out this footage, guys. Check out this escape. It's absolutely unreal. got caught or not. I barely made it out, barely. I don't know if the boys made it out, but me and Charlie did. Charlie. What was that, dude? What happened? And yeah, that was basically one of the craziest escapes of my life and probably one of the craziest missions I'll ever go on. Now, like I said, it's the tallest building in America. It's also the 13th tallest building in the world and the tallest all residential building in the world. So these kind of buildings aren't built very frequently and I expect them to be harder and harder to climb as the future progresses. So this was a very humbling experience, most likely a once in a lifetime experience, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was my 3K special. If you guys didn't mind dropping a like or a comment, like I said earlier, it greatly helps with the channel. What was your favorite part about the video? Did you guys like this editing style? You guys prefer more edits or do you guys prefer raw videos like this let me know guys i should be coming out with another vid next week that's not really related to rooftoping but stay tuned for that guys i love you guys so much we're on our way to 4,000 subs so that's gonna be awesome thank you guys for making it this far into the video have a great rest of your day jay dimes out